you for coming today to what you will see is a hugely important and symbolic moment for policing and for this investigation. Uh, we do not estimate, underestimate from the point of view of the police service how important it is that we are joined today in an act of unity from all the political parties across Northern Ireland. Clearly we know from what we've done so far and from commentary from across the community and the political spectrum, the sheer sense of outrage at this pointless and senseless attack on Detective Chief Inspector John Caldwell. John remains in hospital where he is critically ill and heavily sedated. We have arrested a further man overnight in relation to this investigation. He is now in custody and also been questioned by detectives. Since we spoke yesterday, last night I had the chance to speak to John's wife and his son. Uh, they are clearly heavily affected by what they've gone through but want to pass on their thanks both to the people that rendered first aid and care at the scene but also in terms of the outpouring of support from across the community in relation to this awful outrage. Clearly today we've had a chance to talk to political leaders about the pace and context of this investigation, what it means for policing and what we sense will happen in the next few days. But again, we echo our thanks because it has rippled through the organisation about how important it is that we're joined by the political leaders today in this unique time to show that we stand together and call out this outrage for what it is. We'll take questions in a few moments, but I'll leave it to political colleagues now to add a few words one by one if they want to. For giving us the briefing today and bringing us up to speed with the investigation, I think that it is so important in moments like this that we stand united and we do stand here united as one voice in our condemnation against this horrific attack on a police officer, someone who's part of our community. And I think that the most powerful message that we as political leaders can, stand, can do is to stand with the Chief Constable today, to stand with the police service and to say this is not good enough, this is an attack on all of us, this is an attack on our community. And finally the only other thing that I would want to say today is that my thoughts very much remain with the family. These are, this is a family who are going through a trauma. These are a family that are sitting at a hospital bed. This is a son who's witnessed his father being attacked in this callous way. So my thoughts are very, very much with John's family today. Uh, on behalf of my own party, I would like to extend to uh, the Chief Constable and his colleagues, and of course to DCI John Caldwell and his family, our thoughts and prayers at this time. We continue to pray that DCI Caldwell will, will make a good recovery from the terrible injuries that he has sustained. And also to say to all of those very brave men and women who each day serve our community so faithfully with, and with great courage, that we all stand with you. Uh, you have our continued support. But uh, uh, words are good. We also need to ensure uh, that the PSNI has the resource that it needs to carry out its job effectively and we will work together as parties engaging with the government to ensure that that resource is made available to the Chief Constable and to the PSNI uh, and we hope to have the opportunity to do that uh, in the coming days. I would also say to the, the evil uh, people who carried out uh, this heinous attack and to their organisation, you are not the future of this place. Uh, we stand against you. The murder of police officers and the attempted killing of those who serve our community uh, in Northern Ireland was unacceptable when my cousin was the first RUC officer to be murdered by the IRA in 1970. Loyalists have also killed police officers. It was never acceptable and it is not acceptable now. It will not be tolerated and we stand four square with the police to ensure that those who have been responsible for this attack are brought to justice uh, and that they do not dictate how this place moves forward for the future.